welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. I hope you're having an amazing day today. Um, I was filming and didn't record like the whole beginning of this. So <laughs> hi, welcome. Glad you're actually here and I'm actually like being a good YouTuber right now. Anyway, hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Today we're gonna be doing a new beauty launch. We're gonna be talking about some stuff. We're gonna be deciding if we want it or if we don't. I feel like the releases lately have either been like, yes, I am kind of excited about that or like confusion. Why? I have questions. You know what I mean? It's not really been an in-between moment. We'll see, we'll see as we go through. I've been kind of staying distant from Instagram because I'm not gonna lie, like being on there makes me wanna buy stuff a lot of the time and I've been doing so well, I haven't bought too much. I might in this video force myself to buy something because honestly wearing this lip is getting me excited for it. But can we just take a moment to appreciate this neon yellow and how, I don't know how, I don't know how this happens, but neon yellow can go with everything. <laughs> I have worn this dress with like a hot pinky red lip and it looked amazing. I've worn this dress with like a lavender purple, like all sparkle eye, it looked amazing. Now I'm wearing it with this like mahogany lip color and it looks amazing. Like it seems like such a loud color that it wouldn't go with anything, but I'm finding it works with everything. Everything. I'm like imagining it next with like some electric blue liquid liner or something like a wing like oh amazing Like I love that look anyway. I'm just really excited about that It just seems to be really working out and I love it <laughs> Especially for such like a, a fun color But anyway that all being said before we get into the video I am so freaking excited because today's video is sponsored and it is sponsored by audible This is such a full circle moment for me because the original way I heard of Audible was from YouTubers, okay? Back in like 2013, 2012, I found Audible from other YouTubers who were sponsored by Audible and were talking about it. And it's so cool for me to now be doing my own sponsorship with them, especially since I've like used the service off and on for so, so, so many years. So if for some reason you don't know about Audible, Audible is the number one place for spoken word entertainment. They have thousands of different book titles. They have new releases, classic books. They have celebrity memoirs and now they're even offering more content. So they have podcasts over there. They have original content. They have like wellness content. So you can do like fitness workouts. You can do meditation. They have even like tracks that can put you to sleep. And I personally love Audible because I will fall asleep if I read. Like that is one of the issues. I get a book in my hands and I am out. <laughs> and so I love Audible because I can listen to books and actually be doing other things. I love listening to it while I'm driving. Specifically, that's one of my favorites because then I also get to listen to a book with which is this whole other thing about audiobooks that I love because you can make something that was once like very individual. I know there's book clubs, but you know, reading a book is such an individual thing and I love shows and I love talking about it and I wanna like talk out plots and characters and all that. And so it's so nice to be able to read a book together with someone, experience it together in that same moment and be able to talk about it like I do movies and TV shows. I also like listening to audiobooks when I'm cleaning or when I'm doing dialogue diamond painting, that's another way that I like to personally kind of do two things at once. The most recent book that I finished, I've had this book in my library for so many years and I finally read it and it was Night Film by Marisha Pessel. This is a kind of like mystery thriller type book. I was recommended this years ago from someone on booktube and so I've had it in my library. I finally read it this year and I really enjoyed it. I have like a brief synopsis. It's a mystery thriller that follows an investigative journalist who is reporting on the death of Ashley Cordova, daughter of Leslie legendary and notorious film director Stanislav Cordova. I don't wanna to give too much away, so that's kind of what I wrote, but it has like kind of dark themes. There's like some witchcraft elements to it. I think like Eyes Wide Shut meets, I don't know, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo meets like a film about Hitchcock or something, like an, a documentary about Hitchcock or something, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, if you're into something like that, that might be a good recommendation for you guys. It's also cool because that book is written in a very specific way, like it has like photos and documents kind of into the book itself. And I wondered how that would work since it's an audio book, but they have the PDF available when you buy the book. So that's awesome. So you can have access to all those documents. Anyway, if you're interested in trying out Audible, you can visit audible.com slash Lauren May Beauty, or you can text Lauren May Beauty to 505 500. As an Audible member, you'll get a credit every single month and you'll also get access to all that plus content for free. And you can download that stuff, access it whenever you want. Once again, if you want to try it out, you can go to audible.com slash Lauren May Beauty. I'll also have a link down below in the description box, or you can text Lauren May Beauty to 500 500. Thank you so, so much to Audible for sponsoring today's video. And thank you so much to you guys for your support. I appreciate it so, so, so much. All right, now let's get into the new launches, the new releases, that new May 
makeup. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about this stuff. I feel like in times when I'm not sure what I want or I'm kind of like on the fence about stuff or just in the middle, I love hearing what your guys' thoughts are. All right, this is like a new, new one. This came out today as I'm filming this and this is from ColourPop. It's the new Your Golden. It's one of those big palettes, okay? So it's like the big 30 pan. It's similar to the Stone Cold Fox. It's similar to something Bare Necessities, I think it was. This is a no for me. No, no, no. I'm not gonna be getting this. Um, I'm definitely not tempted. I saw them sneak peeking this the other day and I was kind of, you know, you know, I was like side eyeing what it was gonna look like. But honestly, this just looks like a game of like old maid. Is that the one where you match the things? I don't know. It, I look like I'm trying to match up shadows. There's a lot of similarities in here, at least looking at it in this photo. A lot of those matte browns uh, look the same. Like, oh, there's two of them and there's two of these and there's two of those. And on top of that, if you've bought any of these like more neutral palettes, I feel like from ColourPop in the last little bit, I mean, this looks like it. I just don't think this was a strong enough concept. It wasn't gold enough. I think they could have like really, I mean, I'm not saying I would buy it this way, but <laughs> I think they could have maybe really like took the gold theme to the limit, you know? and really made tons of golds in there. But there's really like a couple yellow golden colors and then bronzes and then even some taupes. And I, no, unnecessary, really. I mean, all the makeup is, I hope you get what I'm saying with that. It just feels like, what? What? Where's the theming? Where's the vision? I just don't feel that. And I honestly feel like ColourPop's pretty good at giving that and I don't see it with that palette. So that's a no, <laughs> that one's not too tough. There's some new stuff from Natasha Denona, which we haven't even got, we haven't talked about the, is it Zendu, Zendo? Oh my gosh, I was like looking up everyone's videos talking about it because I'm like, how the F does everyone say it? I'm so bad, I am someone, <laughs> So pint and pint, I know that pint isn't a thing, but pint looks like mint. So I wanna say pint. It is so tough and I even, I try to like remember which way it goes and then I trick myself when I do that and then I still say the wrong way. So let's see. Zendo. Okay, Zendo. That's what Angelica said. That's what I'm going with. Okay, the Zendo palette from Natasha Denona. Let's talk about that. We're chatty today. We're chatty. This is old, old news. I know everyone's done their videos. Everyone's had it already. I've had to resist the urge. So initially looking at it, I was, I actually was like, no, I don't want this. I have a video coming, so I don't want to talk about it too, too much, but mm, there's one shade in there called Yama. Mm, I want that. <laughs> I want that color, but I'm not really sure. I love that it's a midi palette though. I can't deny it and honestly, you know all the new Natasha Denona releases that come out when it comes to the palettes It's always this question of like should I do it or should I not even if I'm kind of like unsure if I'll get use out of it There's still a level of temptation that kind of always happens with her eyeshadow palettes. I'm not gonna lie to you I do um, Enjoy seeing what she comes out with and you know a lot of the time I have to talk myself out of them So this one's a no for me, but recently recently even before this like, you know new news instead of the old shit There are some cream blushes these these are the Puff Paint Liquid Blush Serums from Natasha Denona. There are three different colors. There's Bloom, which is kind of playing off of the Bloom palette. There's like a pink one, and then there's like this tan one. I think that they look pretty. I'm surprised there's only three colors. I mean, tan is the color I would want, but I know that's kind of boring. I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually buy these, you know, but it makes sense that she's coming out with these. I mean, the liquid serum blushes, the cream blushes, they are all of the rage. Everyone's raging out to some cream blushes. So not surprised to necessarily necessarily see them, but they did seem to come so fast after, I already forgot how to say it, her newest palette. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it, I'm not gonna do it. It looks like Alamar Cosmetics is coming out with some new liquid lip balms. Hmm, it says lip care meets glam. I kind of like that idea. I mean, I love a lip balm, and so something that's a little bit more comfortable, but still has a gloss. I kind of like it. I also sometimes don't love a shimmer in my lip gloss. Like, I definitely enjoy a cream, like a nice semi-opaque cream is really where it's at for me. Like, that's my favorite. But I've also been enjoying the matte lips. I have been. I think that they look pretty, and and I've just, I feel like I can get a bigger, bolder lip. Like I feel like my lips look nice and full and kind of juicy with the darker or more bright colors in a matte formula than sometimes with a gloss. So that's what I've been preferring lately. So I probably won't pick those up, but you know, love to see it. Next, this is from Morphe. There are some quads. They're the multi palettes. They're like stacked. So they have eyes, cheeks, lips, and sparkle. These look very similar to um, the Kaja Bento boxes. And it seems like there's like glitter in them. So already, I mean, 
I probably wouldn't pick these up. They're from the Morphe 2 line. I think I said just Morphe. They're Morphe 2. I think that these look good. Like I like the way the bento boxes look. So I think that these look nice as well. I'm not going to pick them up. I'm really not looking for Morphe, but I feel like the Morphe 2 line was smart because it's just so much better looking. Like everything is way more enticing to me if I had to say from the Morphe 2 line than the regular Morphe line. You know what I mean? Like just it looks better and cleaner, more modern, I guess is really the, the word I'm looking for. Some new hang over stuff, pillow balm, lip treatments from Too Faced. Those look so nice. I probably won't pick them up. I'm trying not to buy a ton of lip balms and stuff because I have so many. I want to finish some of those up. But I mean, I do like these types of like lip balm treatment things. I love the Huda Beauty one. I got a little sample of the Silk whatever and it's so nice so you know it makes me want to try a bunch but i'm trying to hold off use what i have enjoy what i have kind of the motto over here or trying to be right <laughs> there is yet another collection from ColourPop. this is one it's called the so very lovely i mean i think maybe in person this would be nice like the actuality of like using it there seems to be some pretty shimmers but this color story to me i don't like i really don't like it i think the lavender on its own pretty there's just something about it maybe in person again it might look nicer but but there just seems to be a lot of like washed outness. There aren't like colors really playing off of each other super well. Even the swatches, sometimes like in the palette it won't look good, but in the swatches you can like see the vision. In the swatches I'm still like, okay. <laughs> What the, what is this? I think the blushes look beautiful though. I love the blushes. So that's a positive. I love the blushes. Probably won't get anything, but I do like, I do like those blushes. Those are pretty. There's a collab with Il Maquillage and Carly Bible. It's like a full on face palette. There's three different ones for different skin tones. It's just a lot of wasted space. Like the first thing that my eye sees is like, there's not that much product in this palette compared to how much space is. And I don't necessarily think that's like the best look personally. They're 54 dollars each i mean the formulas honestly from the photos look nice like they look like the type of formulas i like when it comes to face products because i do like something that's kind of buildable has that like semi like sheen to it like not shiny necessarily like they look pretty the swatches look good i just don't think i would pick this up like i wouldn't spend the 54 dollars. i love like the orange blush but i don't like the other two blushes really so i don't know like yeah not interested this was something i had to like kind of talk myself out of and it's not because i like the palette that much it's just because i had a connection to a past release do you guys have that where something has come out in the past or you've liked something from the brand before and so it makes you want stuff from the brand in the future even if you like realistically can sit down and, and know that's not going to work for you you're not going to like love it yeah, I'm like fighting that. Okay, this is from Glam Light. It's the Red Velvet Cupcake Palette. This is like a pink and purple palette. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think it's like a pretty palette and fine. I just know it's not for me. Like I love pink eyeshadow, but I like like a pop of pink with other stuff. I definitely prefer peaches. I definitely prefer almost like blues and greens, like limey, like this type of green or yellow. I prefer that. So I know that a full palette of this is definitely not for me. It's too unnoted. And uh, you know, I wanted to want it because I love the ice cream dream palette which is like rainbow and beautiful and like pastels and so pretty but I'm, I'm not gonna buy that I'm not gonna buy it I can't wait to see what else comes out it's a great price it's 25 bucks it's not expensive or as expensive as it could be I guess you know but I'm not gonna get it <laughs> And I really had to talk myself into not buying it. I'd love to know if you picked it up, what you think, like is the quality great? I'm sure it is. I feel like Glam Light has some pretty good quality. Okay, next, Lawless. Ooh, okay, forget the filler. They had this like lip balm, <laughs> again, lip balms here. I really wanted the original lip balm, but it looks like they've come out with some new colors. So one's called Daisy Pink and one's called Velvet. They seem nice. I think I would still want the original, honestly, cause that one had a little bit of something to it, but mm, seriously, sometimes I think about about, like if I had all the money or didn't like stop myself, what would my collection look like? And it'd be like all lip balms. <laughs> it would be like all lip balms. There's some new stuff to the Jelly Pop collection from e.l.f. This is one of those collections that I like the pictures of, I love the vibe of and the feeling, but I know that I won't use them. I'm not gonna use the jelly lip glosses in the tubes, I'm not. I don't care about skincare in the jelly packaging from e.l.f. You know what I mean? I know that it was really loved and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I just, again, know myself. It's not gonna get the use. It's not gonna get the use. So I'm not really tempted by that. I am tempted though from a new release from Glow Recipe. This is the Watermelon Glow Hyaluronic Clay Pore Tight Facial. It says hyaluronic clay because usually clay is a little bit more drying. It's like extracting stuff from your skin, but the whole watermelon juice line is very like hydrating. So kind of an interesting mix. I'm definitely 
you know, it's glow recipe, you know I'm already interested. <laughs> so I have that kind of in my peripheral, just looking out, I'm always looking out for a glow recipe. Okay, here's the full fantasy. This is summer to me, this is everything I want it to be. This is from Way, and these are the new St. Bart's scalp and body scrubs. Love that, I love the idea of this. They have like the dragon fruit, I think that's what this is in this picture, that is just, I want, <laughs> I want this bougie ass scrub, okay? It's $38, it's limited edition, oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna, I should do a whole video on like bougie products that I know aren't necessarily like, like in reality, like I know they're not worth the price, right? There are other products that are out there that are cheaper. There's something about either a category or a specific product that for some reason, even though I know these things rationally, it's still worth the price to me. Like the way it makes me feel, like kind of these incalculable things. I need to make a video about that because I talk about deals all the time, but I do like some bougie shit, you know? And this is the type of stuff that like makes me wanna blow 40 bucks on a scrub for my body. That would probably take me way too long to use up. Anyway, next, Soul Body from like ColourPop, you know, like the sister line. They have some face and body makeup. I think that looks great. I think it's perfect for summer. I'm interested in it. I've been actually enjoying more lately, a little bit more full coverage look. I just think it looks so much better on camera. That's the thing that's so hard. I hate the idea of just doing my my makeup for camera in a certain way but I can't deny that like when I do a little bit fuller coverage let's fix my hair let's fix my hair it can look so much better honestly so I have been enjoying that a little bit more I would try that I don't know I've been kind of like interested in foundations you know oh god here's this hideous hideous stuff this looks like it came straight up like it's so ugly what the guys <laughs> This is the, why would they, it's like they did it to like get attention, negative attention for how hideous this is. Why did they do this? MAC Cosmetics and the Cruella movie. Okay, ugly as shit palette. What do they call it? Eyeshadow times eight, $45, Cruella to be kind. What the heck is going on with that? I hate it so much. They split apart like little, <sighs> I'm really not into it. I feel like they tried to make it as like infuriating to look at as possible. I hate the color combos. I don't, it just looks dated in the worst way possible. The pans are in weird shapes because they also didn't even cut them into like rectangles. They cut them into kind of like a sort of trapezoid moment. Um, I just, I, I am so confused and I really, the explanation to this, when we think of like the Sims collection, I'm just like, what the hell is going on? There is no other way that you could convey Cruella. You couldn't think of one other fucking way. I'm sorry to, I'm so sorry to get a little uh, heated here. I'm not that invested. I really am not. I just I don't get it. I really don't understand the choices. Maybe I need to read up on an article. Maybe it's genius and they did it, but like looking at this, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure no. All of it just looks like the past, you know when Disney was doing all those live actions back in the day? Um, that's what these look like, but that was years and years ago. That was so many years ago. Why is this shit looking the same? It's not modern. And I think that this is where I understand why people like ColourPop because if ColourPop did a Cruella palette, it would probably look good, <laughs> you know? And it'd be way cheaper and it'd be way cheaper than Mac. They just need to get some like actual graphic designers or something over there. I don't know what's going on. They just need to get it sorted out because they're, they have awesome collaborations. They have some really great IP with people who would love to buy this shit. And then I feel like they just like royally, they just make it so hard for people to buy their products, which is the exact opposite of what brands should be doing. So mm, I have questions. I'd love to know your takes on that because hideous to me, to me personally, personally. On top of the color story, don't even get me started on that. It's just very basic. Like it looks, if this was a Picasso collab, maybe I understand it a little bit more with the blockiness and even it coming apart in the different shapes or something, but yikes. And this kind of leads us into the Prince collection from Urban Decay, which I will state right now, I'm not like the biggest Prince fan, not that I don't like him. I just, you know, I was born in 92, okay guys? So my first concert was Spice Girls, okay? Like, I don't know, that's all I gotta say. I just haven't like gone into the Prince stuff as much as I could. And so I can't sit here and say, I know how a Prince collection, I'm not the authority on what the Prince collection could look like, but I will say that this seemed a little disappointing to me personally 
personally. Now, maybe in person these have a little bit more pizzazz. Maybe they they show the shine better, you know, and, and maybe they're just going after people who like a bit more neutral of stuff or like everyday stuff but love prints. Like, but I just think, again, it could have been more and I think that's what I really want to see when brands are collaborating with existing IP and people and other brands and all that. Like, I love to see the innovation and like really understanding what you're collaborating with, really understanding the ins and outs of the person or the property or whatever, you know, and giving the, the fan base what they deserve, kind of, you know, like I think there can be a way that it can be a win-win-win. It doesn't have to feel so money grabby, even if it is like obviously trying to make money. That's what a business does. And so this one, I'm kind of just like, did it do it? Prince fans, let us know. Did it do it? Because I feel like it didn't. I feel like it could have just gone harder. It could have gone so much harder and I would have loved to see that and I think I would have been celebrating it, you know? There is some stuff from BH though. So BH came out with these palettes. This is the Say It collection. So they're like nine pan palettes. I think the color stories of these are actually kind of interesting and I do like that they're a little bit smaller so you can pick what you want. I think the most interesting to me is that like blue purple one. That one I think is pretty. I also do like the green one. Some of the shimmers in there are kind of interesting, like, like a soft sagey shimmer. I like that. I don't think I'm gonna pick them up because I wanna use the BH Cosmetics palettes that I have, but I'm sure that for $15, you're gonna get pretty good quality. The palettes I've used in the past, like they just, they do have great stuff. So these swatches look really promising. I'm excited to see them move forward and what they're coming out with. I think they're kind of on a roll lately and their quality is good. And they're, I think they're kind of competing with ColourPop in a way that I haven't seen another more affordable brand really do. Ooh, okay, this one from ColourPop. The Barbie collection. This I think was done pretty well. I, I'm not gonna buy this. I didn't buy it. I mean, it's been a little bit since it's been out. This is the Malibu Barbie. So there's a palette and then there's like all the extras. You guys know, I think it's cute. And I, I think the palette was done well. Like it's pink and neutral and the pops of blue. Like there's a yellow in there as well. So I think it's cute. But this is one of those ones that I would stop myself from buying because I know I'd just be buying it for the packaging. And in that case, I'd rather buy like art. I've talked about this before but maybe you haven't seen that video or you need a reminder here today um, to catch yourself, depending on what your goals are. Maybe you don't care and you wanna buy it and I think that's awesome. I'm all for you knowing what you want, doing what you want and getting what you want out of your purchases, what you actually want though, <laughs> not like what you've tricked yourself into thinking you want or what the marketing has made you want to buy. Anyway, I've learned about myself with IP collabs like this where I'm like attracted to like the Lizzie McGuire collection or whatever because I feel like a connection and I think the packaging looks cute and then being nostalgic and all that stuff. I like to, first off, I'll like try to dupe out the colors within my own collection because a lot of the times it's not that unique. So like this palette for me personally and my already huge collection, the color story is not that unique. I definitely have those singles and I could then love and use those singles, right? And get the same looks and just try to channel, you know, Malibu Barbie. But if I'm really loving the way that this art looks, you're not taking that art with you when you're wearing it on your eyes, you know what I mean? So I think it could be a fun way to look into other things that are like Malibu Barbie inspired, whether that's posters or art people are making online or any of those types of things. Maybe there's somehow like a cool piece of furniture. I don't know how much you wanna get into investing, don't get me wrong, like how much money you wanna put into this, but I'm just saying, are there other ways that if you really do love Barbie, you could incorporate that? Like I'm someone who has a Barbie Christmas tree. So I would love for this to have a Malibu Barbie ornament. That would be something that would be a way better purchase to me than the palette. Does that make sense? Like trying to find that thing, if you really do love it, that would be the best purchase for you long-term. What are you gonna love long-term? What's gonna work for you long-term and not be something you're gonna regret six months, a year, two years down the road. You know what I mean? And like I said, maybe this is the right purchase for you. And if that's the case, hell yeah, enjoy it, love it. I'm so excited for you. But if you're kind of like looking at it and you don't know, it's just something to consider, you know? But let's talk about this. I think I'm gonna order this right now. <laughs> the Nima Tang and Dose of Colors collaboration is so beautiful. I've gone back and forth. I've added this stuff to my cart so many times and I really want the coral set. I think it's so pretty and I think it would replace the 
NARS lipstick that I just got rid of or more recently got rid of. This like really beautiful orangey coral color. I think it'd be perfect and I love the Dose of Colors liquid matte formula. The thing that's kind of stopped me is I do wish just like for my own, my personal self, I wish that all the stuff came separately. Like it'd be great if you wanted all of it, you could buy it in the set for a discount, but I would be willing to pay like $20 a piece for just the pieces I want and not have all the other things if I didn't want it. But I want that liquid lipstick. I'd love to have the lip liner that matches it. And then I even, I love the nude set as well. I think it's so pretty and I love like those darker browns on me. I think they can look just so stunning and there's, they're so impactful, but still neutral. So you can still do something colorful or kind of simple on the eyes like I'm doing today. And I think it's still impactful and just beautiful. So I am tempted. I am so tempted again, I think because I think the colors will work for me. I can see myself wearing them. Um, I'd love to support this collab and I do like Dose of Colors liquid lipstick for me. It's like this perfect match. So I think I might, I might buy that stuff. I keep thinking about it. I keep going back to it. I just want those two liquid lipsticks and then like one of the lip liners, probably that darker lip liner. But with how it is, I'm going to spend a hundred dollars to really want those three things. That's what's like stopping me. It's tough. It's tough. I wish they would split those sets up. Anyway, let me know if you pick that up. Let me know if you want to see them. Maybe I'll do it. I don't know. If it's still on my radar in like a week, I'm probably just gonna buy it and do it. <laughs> okay, next, the French Riviera collection from Jouer. Uh, yikes, I don't like it. I think it's boring. It's like icy, but then it has like warm colors with it. I do not like that palette at all, um, at all. Not even a little bit. I think that like bright, what was it called? You know, the one that came out before that I wanted so bad, I like made a whole video, like duping it out, whatever. That summer palette was so much more pretty than this. I don't know. This looks like ice fairy to me. It does not look like summer. I'm not a fan. I'd love to know what you think, but I'm not a fan. And then when I see the swatches, I'm just like, how do those all go together? I do like the blush and bloom cheek and lip duos. Those are really pretty. I think that those are nice. I also do like the like lip product in there, like the Honey Kiss Shimmer Lip Kit. I like that, but the palette is just a no, an easy no for me. I'm sorry, is this weird? This is a brand called Live Tinted and it's Ray's Copper Eye Mask. It's just eye masks that look like sun, like the sun. And it's like a thing, like we're supposed to be excited. I don't know, am I just? For five pairs for $22, I feel like it's expensive. And it's just like an eye patch. Like it's not a big deal. I literally don't care. Oh my gosh, I didn't see the Ciate London and Edna mode. Ah, this is so funny. Um, it's kind of weird. I don't know if I like the palette. Once again, those two blushes look very freaking similar. What is up with that? The eye shadows look okay. I <laughs> I love the concept of this. Not sure if it was executed well, but I'd love to know what you guys think. That's pretty funny to see. I didn't realize that. Summer Fridays has like a glowing body oil. This seems so Summer Fridays. Like Summer Fridays is one of those brands that I just like, I feel like is the fa the essential fantasy. It's the cool girl glossier, but like the richer version. It's like you're a little more wealthy. <laughs> If you use Summer Fridays, like Way is in your hair, Summer Fridays is on your face, and I don't know what else you're doing. Those are the two I know right now, but this sells me the fantasy of them. It seems like Summer Fridays, honestly. I shouldn't buy it, and I'm probably not going to buy it, but let me tell you, I feel tempted still. Like, it's the weirdest thing I know. I mean, what else is there really? I talked about the Pat McGrath blushes in the last video. I do want them, but I'm, I don't know, I've been holding off. I'm holding off just for now. Ooh, this palette, this one almost got me. I almost bought it. I didn't just because of the size. This is, that's the only reason. I wanna see some like reviews and then I'm, this one might be something I buy cause I do wanna try out some more from Midas, but this is the Midas in collaboration with the Basic B. It's the Perception palette. I believe that's what it's called. It looks so, so pretty. I don't think there's any glitter or anything. I'll have to check into that, but I like the color story, even with it being so many like shades, which usually I like something a little bit smaller. I'm still tempted by this. I don't know. I'd love to know what you think. Should I get it? 39 bucks for that many colors. I'm kind of okay. Like I like it. I like that. Some of these close up pictures woo, look so good. I love seeing like that blue and this orange. The contrast is killing me. I love it. Same with the green and this like reddy pinky peachy color. The contrast is there. I love seeing it. That and the Nima Tang. Those are like the two that are on my list to get. I also loved seeing this from Glisten Cosmetics. There are some liners, but these are like five color liners. So you can do some really great stuff. I loved the color combinations. I thought they were so interesting. Kind of different, but still kind of fun and inspired.
layered. I also like that you get so many different colors to do different things with. I've seen so many people do amazing line work with, you know, these types of water activated liners, which are like the same as any of the body paint, like the wolf body paints. But yeah, they look so pretty. Oh, and they have such beautiful looks. I was looking on, I think it's their Instagram page. They show each like five pan eyeliner and then they'll show a look made with it. And they got all these different creators. I'm, I'm assuming they collaborated with them and paid them. I guess I don't know that for sure, but it looks like that anyway. <laughs> and uh, they have some really cool looks like demoing the palettes. And I thought that was awesome. I also got tagged in this. This is from Half Caked Makeup. It's a nine pan palette. It's all mattes. And for an all matte palette, this is actually kind of intriguing to me. I like the colors in here. It's not like something totally unique to my collection if I were to buy it but there's something about it that I think is cute and fun it's not overrun by neutrals it has those pops I, I did like it I don't think I'm gonna get it but I did I did like it if it had some more shimmers maybe it would be more tempting honestly to me like same color story add in some shimmers but I still liked it oh we should talk about this one and then we'll probably wrap it up soon. This is from Adept and it's the Codeine palette. This is a palette that I've gone back and forth on if I should get it or if I shouldn't. I think this video will be out before it launches so you have to let me know in the comments. Do you wanna see me review it? The reason I wanna get it is because I've done the video on the other two palettes from Adept and I could give you comparisons and all that um, and so I think it would be helpful but I'm also like it's 60, it's 60 something dollars. There's two mattes in it. I think you can like swap the mattes out for shimmers, but I, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know if you want to see me do it. I'm like so tempted. These swatches, they're juicy looking. I do want them, but I'm also just like, do I want to spend that much money on them again? I don't know. I don't know. They're going to be beautiful. I know that they're going to be beautiful. It's more just like, do I just do this forever now? Like I just buy every single one that Adept comes out with? I don't know. <laughs> Tell me if you want to see that review, if you want to see the comparisons, if you think it would actually really help you. And then if I get it, if I get a lot of people doing that, and then maybe I'll, I'll do that. I'm going to end it here though. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you're still here at the end, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'd love to hear any of your thoughts on any of the makeup I talked about or anything I maybe didn't talk about. What have you picked up recently? what got you excited what did you hate <laughs> I'd love to know that too but yeah other than that thank you guys for being here I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video bye guys